everybody's okay. So today I'm just going to take a little drive and have a little talk about why I have this car and big plans I had and just how the timing was bad. All right, let me go for it. So if you watch my videos for, oh, seat belt, safety first. Always remember that. So if you watch my videos for any amount of time over the past year, you realize that I now have this car, this step wagon, which is like a, a seven seater minivan kind of thing. You'd also know that it's only me and my daughter here. So why buy this kind of bigger vehicle? Well, here's the thing. I had big plans for this car. It wasn't just about just buying this car and having it. Big, big plans. You guys know I like to explore. And Jamaica is a very beautiful island and I love the rivers, especially the rivers, waterfalls and whatnot, and beaches. So before all of this chaos that is the pandy, before all of that, almost every weekend I would be out, I would go to a river, go to a beach. I, I just love getting out there in nature. Oh man, I miss that. Yeah man, the fruit man eh? My progressive foods. Okay, here at the supermarket. What bag? I forget what bag. Ugh, I got to buy a bag. Yeah, just one or two little things we had to get. Prepare. Always safety first. Only mask. I'll be back. I'm back. Had to sanitize up. Clean, clean, clean. Very important stuff we had to go for. You know, Vanna like a bacon. Let's go again. Seatbelt. So back to the story. Why this vehicle? And why am I talking about going on adventures and that kind of thing? The thought was, if I'm going to the beach and I'm going to these rivers anyway, and some of these beaches are rivers and not close to Montego Bay, you know, you have to drive all over the island of Jamaica. If I'm going anyway, why not offer tours where uh, I will advertise on Facebook or somewhere that, okay, this weekend I'm going to Duns River or I'm going to Reach Falls or somewhere and a seat will cost 5,000 Jamaica. I have a vehicle like this where I could carry about, let me say six, seven people. I will be able to go on the tours. I will be going anyway. Why not get paid for doing it? getting distracted from the story I'm trying to tell about the vehicle. I just drive past what we used to call in Move Dumper Bay. They built it up so nice, they're calling it Harmony Park now. It's looking really, really good, but because of the pandemic, they have it closed. I just went and found it from the guys. I think all parks in Jamaica is closed. So when that is lifted, Harmony Park will be open. I can't wait to go in and do a tour for you guys when that thing open. It looks really, really good. And I think I'll make a pretty good tour guide. I know the island pretty well. I know a lot of these places. I would record and do my normal vlogs and share it with everyone and share it with you guys. In my mind, it was a fantastic business idea. I'm having fun. I'm making a little bit of money on the side with it. And I don't have to pay for these trips myself every weekend going out, you know? I thought it was a good idea. So the timing was bad. Why is that? I guess we all know the answer. Pandemic. Bought the car last year, not this December, the December before that. So basically, for the entire year of the pandemic, I didn't go anywhere in terms of those adventures. And that was the bad timing that I'm talking about. So I have a good car. I have the nature and the fantastic views. As you can see, just the timing was off. I saw a little corner there that seems nobody really knows about it or they don't go there. I'll check back a few times. If there is no one there, I'm gonna come take a dip in the ocean. But I can't complain. It's a very good car. It's very comfortable. When we need to go anywhere to the supermarket or anything like that, great. It's good on gas. Although I wasn't able to start up the business and, and start the tours and that kind of thing, the result is 
we have a nice car nice AC and whatnot the car I had before my beloved uh Cressida 22 year old car oh I love that car but I have to admit it's not really comfortable it was pretty loud and it did not have AC and in Jamaica you kind of need AC I just wanted to do a short video to share with you this little I'm not sure if it's even a story this little uh, situation to say hey when things ease up I'll be here the car will be here and maybe I'll start back up this this business idea what do you guys think if you come to Jamaica would you take a tour with me let me know in the comments below all right anyway guys thanks for listening and remember to like subscribe all of those good things and as always I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one bye